Hij was meer dan een kwart eeuw de vaste gitarist achter de levende muzieklegende Fats Domino. Nu woont hij met zijn Vlaamse vrouw in Oostende en heeft hij zijn eigen jazzkwartet. Uw applaus voor Jimmy Molière. Welcome, Jimmy, Mr. Molière. Thank you. It's an honor to have you on the show. Thanks for having me. Let me introduce you to the other guest. That's Yves Leterme. That's our caretaking Hello. prime Hello. minister. <laughs> we met. <laughs> we met. And that's Kat Luyten. She met. presents the show, The Kasake Dragers. What is that? Kasake Dragers. What is that in Engels? In Engels. Uh, uh, Two-faced two liar, I think. Two-faced two liar. liar. Two-faced liar. Or a politician. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now, now, Jimmy, in, in 1980, you became, almost by accident, Fats Domino's guitar player. Yes, sir. How did it happen? Um, well, <clears throat> his son and I, we played together a lot. Okay. And when I played with his son, of course, he played all of his father's music. And <clears throat> he needed a guitar player. His guitar player died. <clears throat> and at the last minute, two hours, he called me, his son told him that I knew all of his music without having rehearsal. And he so, called me at nine in the morning to be at the airport for 11. I said, I think I can make it. <laughs> he said, I only need you for two weeks. Okay. No problem. Okay. I made it uh, and we played in Dallas, Texas yeah. for two weeks. But there was an incident. Mm -hmm. He gave me a solo. So. I came out playing. Yeah, because you were. You, you, yeah, you, you I was, came I, out of the jazz. Right, and he yeah. got out of his music. So I heard him tell somebody, "That boy can't play no music. <laughs> Too so, complicated." Well, meaning, there's another story that go with that, but I don't want to take up all of your mm -hmm. time. But Fats always said, "My music is so simple that if you can't play my music, you can't play." Mm -hmm. So when I played outside of his music, he didn't like it. So. The next day he called me to his room and he said, I want you to play that really what we call low down blues. Mm -hmm. let's, let's watch a, a clip how you, the two of you play together. We got some footage of a concert in 1986. 1986. There you are, Absolutely. Yeah, behind the master himself, looking handsome. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, brings back memories. Yeah. Huh? What happened with your hair? I know. What what happened <laughs> to my hair? Did you did you all stand so close to Fat? Always. Uh, that happened within the first two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, after the two weeks was up, he said, "I'm going to Europe." I had never been to Europe. He said, "Would you like to go with me?" I said, "Well, why not? You know, sure." Mm. And I, the rest is that's been 25 years. 25. Years. And was it a full-time job? Not really. Fats did tours. If we did two months, sometimes he'd stay home for two months. If we did six weeks, he might stay home a month. Mm. Or and month what, did you, what did you do in between? Oh, I, had all, I did everything. I said that I'm a jack of all trades, but master of none. Mm -hmm. I've been a carpenter's helper. I've been a fisherman. I've been a landscape contractor. I own the taxi cab, little taxi cab company in all New right. Orleans. Yeah. So, so, so Fats didn't pay that well. Oh yeah, yeah. He he paid pretty pretty good. All oh, right. Meneer de Terme, wat waren zo in in het parochiehuis in Zillebeke? Wat waren zo uw favoriete Fats Domino songs? Het was zal het hoekske. Um, <laughs> ik denk uh, Blueberry Hill. Blueberry Hill. Hill. Blueberry Hill. Ja. 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 Bent u een danser? Nee. <laughs> Nee? Ja, de Ingeur Vodden was hier gisteren nog en die zei van het wel goed zou zijn mocht er op cdmv feestjes wat meer gedanst worden. Zij dacht aan de flamenco. En ik denk dat ze u vernoemde hoor. <laughs> ik denk dat dat niet uh, mijn beste keer zou zijn. <laughs> ja. Thanks to, to Fats Dome. You met your wife? Yes. She's Flemish? She's Flemish. How did the two of you meet? I was at a restaurant <clears throat> and I smoke. Hmm? Uh, but I didn't know how to say non-menthol. Mm -hmm. I wanted a regular cigarette. And you were you were in Belgium at that time? Yes, yeah. and, uh, but I was at a restaurant. Okay. Uh, and uh, I saw two ladies sitting at the bar having a wine or whatever it was. 
And I said, do you speak English? And she said, no, but my daughter speaks English. I said, I would like to get a pack of cigarettes, but I don't want menthol cigarettes. That's how I met my wife, and that was 26 years It was now. love at first sight. Well, we... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, 26 years, you know, right. that's... Yeah. And, and how, how, did you, how did you seduce her? Did you, you, you had your great looks. Mm, of course. And it was also the fact that you, you led a rock and roll life? No, we just kind of kept in touch, uh, you know, telephone calls and stuff like that. And I kept inviting her over and over. Then it was London, then it was Nice, France, then it was New York City, then it was back to Dallas, Texas, then it was to Reykjavik, Iceland, and on and on and, and on. on and, and on and on and on. Yeah. Even before we were married. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And it's, so you, you traveled around the world Good. after you were married as well? She yeah. also traveled with me. Oh, she came along? Yeah. My wife uh, traveled with the band. Okay. Because yeah. in, in the 80s, some of, of, of uh, the guys in Fats Domino's band were already in their 60s? Yeah. I, I was the Benjamin, as you say here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was the baby of yeah. the band. Uh, yeah. well, was the band still popular with groupies? A lot. Uh, well, I understand the word groupies, but I'll give you an example. When we would arrive, say, in Amsterdam at mm -hmm. Schiphol, there would be busloads of people with flowers. Even high school bands would play for us when we got off the airplane. Wow. So, yeah, groupies, but not uh, groupie groupies. Right, right. I could have done saying it. Your wife is watching too. Huh? <laughs> not only that, but, but my wife was always invited. She was there. Before we were married. Okay. Because I would say, I'm going to be here, I'm going to mm. be there. So I was, wasn't looking for anything. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, he's, he's retired now, but Fats Domino was always a great performer. What's he doing with the piano? Every, the end of every show. I mean, I've seen him actually knock the piano off the stage. All right. Yeah, that was just something, a part of his show. Yeah. He, he did that. And it was one time when it really didn't turn out as planned. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was <clears throat> That was hitting it a bit too hard. He, he, the piano didn't want to move. And he said, you're going to move. <laughs> and it moved, but straight down, as you can see. He got a standing ovation for that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had to pay for the damage. No, no. Uh, people just liked him so much. They, they say, it's, okay. it's all right, Fats, mm. you know. Now, apparently, Fats, Fats Dona is a great cook. Oh, man. If he had never found a piano, I guarantee you today he would be a chef. That, right. would, that was his... He, from morning until night, uh, that's all he do. And bake cakes, pies, uh, mm. every, you name it. Oh, yeah. But mostly Creole down home okay. cooking, yeah. And Go he ate it all himself or he shared it with the band? He shared it with the band, yeah, he did. Uh, as a matter of fact, he has two houses. The house for his buddies and everybody to come over and eat and cook and mm -hmm. play cards or whatever. And then there's the house, his family house, right next door. Okay. <laughs> now, you lived in, in New Orleans until August 2005 when Hurricane Katrina destroyed your house. Then, with your wife, you came to, to a stand? Yes. Where you live right now? Yeah. You miss, you miss New Orleans? I miss what New Orleans was, but I've been back since Katrina, and I don't miss what is there now. Mm -hmm. No. The culture is gone. Uh, it's completely yeah. gone. But, you know, that's life. Mm. And, and, but you left before Katrina really hit the city. Uh, two days. We, because I've been through seven hurricanes. And I know what they can do. Right. So when they said it was coming, I said, let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> and we did. Yeah. Now, Fats Domino, when Katrina hit the city, Fats Domino thought that, uh, many people thought that Fats Domino was one of the victims. Yes. Mm. Luckily, he, he was rescued. Mm -hmm. Are you still in touch with him? Yes, uh, I talk with him about every two months or so, and uh, he's doing good. He's 84 now, and uh, but he forgets mm -hmm. a lot now, you know. Jimmy, you have your own jazz quartet now. 
You happy well, with that? We're trying to get started. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like what I hear. I like what I'm doing. I don't want to sit home and click the television back and forth from morning till night. I want to do something. So yeah. I think I can play some music. So. <laughs> Well, a, a while ago you did a gig in Café Boogie Woogie in Gerardsbergen. Yeah. Jimmy, there were about 50 people at that concert, which is a huge difference with the concerts you played with, with Fats Domino. Don't, don't you miss that time? If you're playing for 20,000 people, you don't see anyone. If you're playing for 50 people, you see everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Now, in, in a minute, you will be playing Windy by your great hero, Wes Montgomery. Yes. I already want to thank you for this interview, dames and heren. Jimmy Moliere. Ik ben Steven van Akkeren. Blijf nog even kijken, want je gaat straks een heel grappig filmpje zien. Het gaat over veel lijstende vrouwen. Speciaal voor Vrouwendag koos minister van Lopende Buitenlandse Zaken Steven van Akker een bijzonder geestige vrouw. Morgen verwacht ik hier de Nederlandse auteur Bart Chabot, ex-wielrenner Ludo Dirkses en de Congolese band Staf Benda Bilili. Maar nu dus Jimmy Molière en de laatste showband met Windy. <applaus>